In this video, we're diving into the brand new update of the Azahar Nintendo 3DS emulator for Android. Azahar has quickly become one of the most exciting 3DS emulators out there, and with its latest update, things just got insane. Now you can enjoy true dual screen support on your phone using wired or wireless displays, plus a brand new playtime tracking system to see exactly how many hours you've sunk into your favorite games. And the best part? Azahar is still completely free and open source. Citra's disappearance left a huge gap in the emulator world. It's been a year, and no perfect replacement had come until Azahar showed up. The new 3DS emulator Azahar is built from Lime 3DS and Pablo MK7 Citra Fork, breathing new life into 3DS gaming. It's faster, more efficient, and packed with exciting new features. Built by the community, it's designed to expand game compatibility while maintaining high performance and clean code. It's still early in development, but an official release is now available for testing. The best part is, this emulator is available on the official website, GitHub, and even the Google Play Store. So download the emulator from your favorite source and start playing today. You'll be greeted with a welcome screen similar to Citra and Lime 3DS. Since Azahar is built from their source code, click Get Started and grant the necessary permissions, such as notifications, microphone, and camera access. Next, select a folder where the emulator will store its data. Then locate the folder where you've stored your Nintendo 3DS games. Disclaimer: The emulator itself is legal, but downloading ROMs illegally is not. I do not support or provide access to pirated games. Please use legal game copies. With that, our primary setup is complete. Before testing games, let's tweak the settings for optimal performance. Tap the three dots in the bottom right corner, open the settings menu, then go to general. If the limit is turned off, the emulator will use maximum resources, but enabling the speed limit actually helps you gain more FPS. There's also a new option called Turbo Speed Limit. I've set mine to 300, but you can push it all the way up to 400. In the system settings, everything is fine. They have newly added the LLE modules, which are needed for online games. Adjust region, language, and clock settings as needed. In the graphics settings, set graphics API to open or Vulkan. Enable the asynchronous shaders option. In Azahar, you can set the resolution up to 10x, which is 4K. But I prefer to use the native display resolution if your device is not strong enough. Texture filtering offers a few filters that will change the video quality. In the layout option, you can set the layout to landscape, reverse landscape, portrait, and more. Make sure to enable expand to cut out area to ensure maximum display coverage. At the bottom, enable the performance overlay to see the FPS and speed during gameplay. This version gives more freedom to customize the layout. In the audio section, enable real-time audio feature. In the debug section, you can modify settings for extra performance, but be cautious tweaks might cause crashes. If anything goes wrong, reset settings to default. Azahar emulator added Arctic Bass a tool that enables real-time game streaming from a Nintendo 3DS to a compatible Azahar emulator without requiring a full ROM dump. This means you can play your physical or digital 3DS games on the emulator without extracting game files manually. If you're using a Snapdragon device, install custom GPU drivers for better performance. If your device isn't Snapdragon, skip this step. Once your game files are ready, go back to the main screen. Your games will appear in the library. Just tap to launch any game, and you're ready to play. On the sidebar, you'll find save states for quick progress saving, overlay settings to display FPS, layout editing to customize controls, screen modes to switch between portrait, landscape, and hybrid layouts, and cheats that you can enable or disable as needed. The gaming experience on Azahar emulator is phenomenal. You might even prefer it over a physical Nintendo 3DS. If you have any questions, join our Discord server for community support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Take care.